everyone. I hear you're curious about our tone and stretch class. This is to tell you a little bit about what you can expect. This class is deliberately designed to be a low impact full body workout, which means that we don't run or jump, but we do use resistance and our body weight to strengthen and tone. Generally, we start with a series of ballet inspired exercises where we're working on the stabilizing muscles that we use every day to walk, go upstairs, haul groceries out of the trunk of the car. Then we go into a strengthening series where we focus on often core strength, sometimes some leg or upper body. And then finally we go into a deep stretch so that we can really increase our flexibility and resistance to injury. All right, everybody, our TA exercise for today. We're gonna start in first position. So heels together, toes out. And as always, you've got the option to keep your hands on your hips, keep them in second, or if you've been doing this with me for a while, you can add the arm movements. So the exercise is going to be demi-plie and stretch, demi-plie and stretch, rise with straight legs, lower with straight legs, Grand plie all the way to the ground, or as low as you can. Heels go down, we come up, we tendu, and change to second. Remember, it's really important when we're doing our grand plies, and turn sideways so you can see, that this doesn't happen. So when we go down, we wanna stay nice and straight. So if this is as far as you can go before you start to pop, that's fine, stop there. If you can, Work on going all the way to the ground, keeping your abs engaged, and we come back up. Okay? Ready to try? Demi, stretch. Demi, stretch. Rise, lower, ground, plie. Change. where both of our sit bones are on the ground. You can move things out of the way if you need to. We're going to plant our feet flat on the floor. About a 90 degree angle. You might need to go a little bit further if your hips are really tight. That's fine. But wherever you can be with your feet flat on the floor and your back straight. So no curving into the low back. We want to roll forward on those bones so that pelvis is nice and straight up and down. I'll show you again. So not here. Roll that pelvis forward so this is straight. Core is engaged. Arms are gonna go in front of us and we're gonna lean back from the hips, keeping that alignment in the back. Arms go up, arms come down, we come back up. That's one. So we go lean back, arms up, arms down, and back up. We're gonna do eight, ready? So we go one, up, two, up. Okay, getting into our stretching portion of class. We're gonna take a seat, comfortable seat, wherever you can be, that's gonna keep that nice straight back. We don't stretch like this. We stretch from good posture to make sure that we're putting the focus on the muscles that it needs to be on. We're gonna get into our neck and shoulders. So I don't know about you guys, but when I'm spending most of my day working from home, Spending a lot of time like this, I want to get that nice and loose and relaxed. I'm going to start with my right side today. So my hands go on my knees. I find that nice straight posture. Even though I'm stretching, my core is engaged. 
right hand goes out and fingertips come down to the floor. I'm careful here to keep my shoulders level. I don't want to dip, okay? Now I'm going to take my head and I'm going to try and touch my left ear to my left shoulder. I'm not raising my chin. I'm not tucking my chin. I'm just going straight sideways. Good. Now you're going to take that right hand where the fingertips are off the floor, lift it up a little bit so it hovers, not high, and then we're going to flex at the wrist and pull the fingers closer back towards your arm. Good. Now what this has done is it's taken the stress just from my neck and brought it all the way down my arm. So I'm feeling this from my ear to my fingertips. And I'm just going to hold here. We're here for a couple more breaths. Good, unflex the wrist, fingertips to the floor. You can use your left hand to help your head come back up. 